Good morning, YouTube. Hey, guys, we are out here at Lake Fork at this point in time. Uh, I've got some Lake of the Pines coming up uh, right after this, but I'm with uh, Seth Vanover, a uh, fishing guide here at Lake Fork, and uh, we decided we're going to go attempt to catch some crappie out here. So at this point, you can see the weather is changing. It was nice and sunny when we left, and clouds were rolled in, the winds picked up, and we are literally in about uh, six feet of water. Uh, if I had my, my depth set right, uh, the lake is seven foot down at this point. So all this timber you see right here is normally out of the water with the exception of that big uh, tree right there. But this is what Lake Fork is like. So there's still a lot of underwater timber that we're hitting, uh, but we're trying to catch fish in this area and it is just not uh, conducive to our fishing day, the weather or the fish bite. Uh, we did catch a couple, I'll show you those right now, and then we're gonna move on to Lake of the Pines. So let me say, Seth is a great guy. I'm looking forward to fishing with him again. We are going to do this again. Uh, but let me just say, I one thing, thing I didn't do because I didn't think I was going to use this, we did do an intro, and I didn't say a prayer. So uh, y'all are going to have to forgive me on this one. We will be praying on the next one. But let's take a look at some of the fish we caught here. It was a great time. You got it that time. Oh, yeah, you need a net? Hold, hold on before you... Let's make sure that camera's rolling. Oh yeah. All right, show it to the camera. And we're gonna we're gonna hold a couple for pictures. Look at that, guys. Lake Fork crappie, and I caught a fishing pole over here. So, <laughs> but that, big old fat female. They're hard to find right now because this, they're they're mobile. They're that one was sitting on a tree, but uh, as soon as we get close to them, because the wind, we're having to troll, use the trolling motor so bad, they take off. So, uh, yeah, let's throw her in here and the pretty one. hold her for a couple days, a couple days, a couple <laughs> hours and get a couple more fish and right. take a good picture with it. Oh, LSU. That's it, baby. Go Tigers. Oh, look at that. I choke on this LSU jig sometimes. 25 feet out in between these two trees. Good morning, folks. Just slip corking. That's it. It's easy. Just, uh, just feed it through till it comes out the other end, right there. Now, where's your jig? Oh, that jig right there works. Yeah. Well, I need to cut the end off of that. Yeah. Make sure you clean that off. I don't know how everybody else does it. I tie a simple Palomar to everything, and I mean everything. If I could do it to my shoes, I would. Well, <laughs> yeah, yep. zoom in on you there. Say that again to Palomar. Yeah, it's a, doing a Palomar knot. You know, a lot of folks do the slip knots or loop knots and whatnot. I try to keep it as simple as I'm a simple man and then palomar it and that's it easy peasy and then cut your tag in or i bite it the wife gets mad at me but that's it right there and now for my slip cork a lot of folks get all the the strings and whatnot simple where you get your minnows get your rubber band cut that Put it on here and granny knot it, and you're done. That's your slip cork. It's gonna Sweet. come to right there. All right. Simple, easy peasy. Now, what you can do for economic sake, cut these tags in, tag the tag ends of the rubber band, and now you've got some spares. Because what'll happen now? What's different about the rubber band versus the strings? This will cut when you slide it up and down. It'll end up cutting this eventually. So have you some spares. 
But that's it. That's my slip cork rig right there. All right, man. Let's, get Let's see if we can catch. Got her. Oh, now I put too much drag on it. in the boat yep <laughs> all right guys yeah make sure we're we're going here hold on a second right. let me fix this real quick before i before i lose it all right guys number two it is not cooperate with us today but we're gonna save that one for a picture as well nice black good size black some more down there man let's pull them in Thought that one got away out of there. I didn't see it in the tank. There we go, got her. Oh, that may not be a crappie. <laughs> nah. If it is, it's a yeah, a big one. Big drum. I hate those suckers. Nah. Boy, she was sitting there. It was sitting there. <laughs> Wrong species. <laughs> I don't even like touching them, dude. No, they're greasy. What'd you say? We got scoop. I yeah. Got I hate it. Oh, that's fine, dude. That's Good afternoon, YouTube. Hey, guys. We are out at Lake of the Pines here in Texas. This morning, I fished uh, Lake Fork, and it was not worth it. The wind was terrible. So we are in the cove here, but I came out here to meet uh, two special guests from Mississippi, all the way from Grenada area. Got Mr. Bud Crisco and Eric Connor. So I'll zoom in on y'all here in a second uh, when I get to the editing software, but we are out here. We're gonna try to catch these fish. So we're in about 10, about eight, nine, eight to nine foot of water, uh, 66 degree water temperature. And it's sunny now. We're at Lake Fork this morning. It was cloudy. It was cold and had, it said eight to 10 miles an hour wind and it was like 19 to 40. It was pretty bad. Um, we had, I had my spot lock on, or my spot lock, my trolley motor on 10, and we still couldn't find a, a, a stationary spot. So anyway, hey guys, y'all stay tuned. We are gonna catch some good old fish out here at Lake Pines, put them in the boat and take some pictures with them. <laughs> y'all stay tuned. All right. Now we gotta catch fish or I did that for nothing. Ah! Dropped him off, y'all. There we go. Yeah. All right, guys, look at this. Lake of the Pines crappie. Look at that belly. Let's weigh this thing. One nine four. Not bad. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna keep it for now. I'll take a picture. Then we'll release her. So guys, what I'm doing? Where is it? Okay, I'm using the. Bonehead stump bug, Palestine special with a just a unpainted head. I am putting two crappie nibbles on there just to change the profile a tad bit and dropping down. I'm gonna see if I can't do live scope here in a minute. It's so hot, I'm not sure if my phone's gonna stay going. Um, but let me try it in a minute. Let's try to catch this other one here because there's a couple down there. Steve, <laughs> fish tank model. All right, guys, wind's too strong to do any active captain because I cannot stay on them, but we are catching a couple. Little, little black, big old female. I mean, she is fat. Look at that, let me show you all, let me get close. Well, I'm stuck in my, my rod. 
So we are in about, let's see, seven and a half foot of water right now, Lake of the Pines. Look how fat that thing is. Big old fish. Um, and they're, man, they're just roaming. Um, these, the black crappie are kind of in schools. Let me get, I'm sorry, get in the camera here. So guys, these fish are just roaming. The black crappie are uh, in schools, sitting on the bottom of trees. Um, the whites, which we're not seeing a whole lot of right now, are uh, just kind of running around by themselves. But uh, what we're doing is we're seeing a whole bunch down there and they're just black crappie in schools at the bottom. So that's what we're trying to catch right now. I may need to downsize my hook a little bit. In fact, I think I will while I'm sitting here. All right, guys, it has been a day. Um, fish, I mean, the wind picked up here too. It was nice this morning and it got bad again. We caught one good size one, uh, about four little ones. Black crappie are definitely in here. Um, so anyway, it's gonna, this weather, we're just so far behind right now in the spawn. Uh, I'd say a good two, two to three weeks now from where it was last year. So I'm gonna call it a day. I got another hour and a half to drive home and uh, get the boat up and I'm looking at looking at a little bit of time. So anyway, guys, if this is your first time out here, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, uh, hit the bell for notification. We do bring usually good videos out here. This is gonna be a little, uh, a little strange, but anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Lake Fork this morning, Lake of the Pines today. It's been a good day. I hadn't caught a lot, but it's been a good day. Catch y'all next time.